Hey guys, this is Jerry, back from another video on hitting, and today I want to talk about this concept of having patience in the swing, and I kind of come at this from a different angle from other people, you know, you hear so much of talk about, we got to be so fast, we got to be so fast, and the ball's 90 miles an hour, we got to have fast hands, all this stuff, and what I try to instill in hitters is this, this concept of patience, you know, feeling like we have tons of time, and that comes from having a, a proper sequence and, and proper mechanics in the swing. And so um, I want to talk about this today and uh, show you some things. So first thing I want to do is show you this video from this guy. And I'm not trying to be overly hard on this. Um, I'm kind of taking this, um, what he's doing as an illustration point. He's doing some good things. But I just want to step through this. And, and this is kind of um, representative of what I see in a lot of high school hitters where they're just in such a rush. And we just got to get the hands out in front, get the hands out in front. And what we'll see is we get here and then straight through with the pushing of the hands, get it to the contact point and then flip it out there. So kind of a two-piece swing where the first thing we do is we just push with the hands, push, push with that top hand, push, 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 and then release. And so what we're seeing here is that basically this is an arm-driven swing. You know, the power of the swing is coming from the arms. And so if you've hit with me before, you know that an analogy I like to use a lot is the analogy of a power clean. And so just like in the baseball swing, there's a sequence of the power clean where we come up here and we use certain parts of the bodies in, in, in sequence and what I want to show here is as we step through this is this, if this guy uh, tries to pull with his arm or use his hands or use his arms too early in this movement he's gonna miss you know he doesn't use his arms until he's used a lot of other his body parts and right now he's gonna pull the bar up so it's a similar thing you know down here in in the deadlift position if he tries to, <clears throat> to yank this up with his arms or try to move this weight with his arms he's gonna miss so the same thing um, in hitting there's a certain sequence of things and we have to use our body parts in the right order and so okay enough of me just talking about this let's look at some guys who do this really well and uh, probably my favorite swing example right now is Andrew McCutcheon and so let's watch him swing and so as he comes coming forward he's gonna take his stride move the bat into position really really late he's not doing it too early so he's just camping out there and then from here watch that lead elbow he's gonna allow his body to work his body to turn his, and take the slack out of that front arm and a lot's gonna happen he's gonna turn his belt buckle quite a bit turn his shoulders and the bat is still staying pretty much by the rear foot you know he's not in a hurry where he's gonna break down this front arm trying to get the knob of the ball really quickly he's just letting his body do the natural sequence of this of the thing. I'm not saying his hands and arms aren't working. I'm just saying they're not in a hurry to get to the ball and get it to the contact point. So you see right here that front arm is nice and locked. He's taking the slack out of that front arm by allowing his hands and his, and his, his focus on the handle to be patient and let things work in sequence. And the result is a very powerful swing. Let's just watch that one more time. I love to watch this guy swing. Patience with the hands. Letting other things work before we get the hands going forward. Who else I want to show? Uh, Josh Donaldson. Very similar. He has a lot of patience in his hands before they go forward. Doing a lot of work, but not in a hurry. Not rushing everything to get them forward. You can see a lot's happening here. He's opening that front leg up, getting his shoulders in position, turning, and now finally we're going to bring the hands forward. You can see the angle of this arm is going to get taken out right there. And so you can't take the angle of the front arm out if you're pushing your hands forward. It's just impossible. So he's not pushing his hands. He's ripping the bad handle apart as I talk about and having patience in his swing before he brings his hands forward. Um, Miguel Cabrera is really good um, hands, if you will. Kind of showing off there. Just comes through here. We're going to see the same thing. Not a lot of rush into getting the handle towards the ball. You see that front arm lose its flexion as the body opens up and rotates. And now he's in a good position to bring the handle to where it needs to be. He didn't rush it. He was patient. He had patience to getting the handle to where it needed to be by letting his body work in the right sequence. Um, who else want to show you? I'll show one more. Uh, how about Jose Batista? So here's the Jose Batista coming in, and the same thing. Watch that front arm. Elbow goes up, shoulders start to turn. He's going to open that front leg. And then now, as his body is opening up, now we're going to see his hands 
bring the handle to where the bat needs to be. So there's not any of this pushing where this front elbow kind of goes straight down towards the ball. And the elbow actually rises up and turns with the body. So he's not pushing it, he's not uh, doing the flashlight drill or anything else you hear where we're just diving down towards the ball. But he's having patience with this, letting his body turn, letting his um, hands work on the handle, and then he's going to bring the handle to where he needs to release the bat. Piece of cake, right? So have some patience in your swing. Don't be such in a rush. Um, if we have patience, if we do the proper sequence, we're going to have more time, and that's really the goal in hitting. All right, what else I want to show? Um, Fair use act, uh, videos courtesy of MLB Advanced Media. And so take a look at this. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, happy hitting.